Australian tertiary educational culture is based on the idea of critical thinking. Critical thinking is closely related to the ideas of logic, evidence-based reasoning, and questioning of assumptions. According to Muller and Nolte, critical thinking is the essence of tertiary learning. It is the ability to collect, analyze, and evaluate information and ideas, and to solve problems by thinking clearly, critically, and creatively. With this in mind, it is important to realize that there are some differences between Australian academic culture and academic culture in other countries. You should be aware of these differences. The Australian tertiary system is based on the Australian Qualifications Framework, which is set by the Australian Government to ensure that all graduates from Australian universities meet the same high standard. The standard you will meet is determined by your qualification type. This means that the university cannot reduce the standard that you must meet to graduate, and this will include your English language ability. Bloom's taxonomy is sometimes used to understand the Australian Qualification Framework. It is a way of looking at the skills you will need to show in order to complete your degree. The taxonomy explains the progression of higher thinking skills. In this model, remember is a simple skill that most people can achieve. Think, for example, of an eight-year-old learning to remember and recite the times tables or how to spell a word. Repetition does not indicate understanding, however, and this is the next level of thinking. As you progress into the higher orders of thinking, you will be expected to create new and individual academic works. This is the ultimate goal of academics, to produce new information and research. It is for this reason that plagiarism and academic integrity are taken so seriously in Australia. If you are unsure of what academic integrity means to you as a student, please take time to view our academic integrity section. Each assessment task will ask you to complete a task that will show your higher order thinking skills. For example, if you are asked to analyze a problem, you are being asked to engage in the higher level thinking skill of analysis, which requires you to examine a problem in detail. You can see in this table the actions you will need to engage in and some of the possible outcomes of your analysis. It is worth repeating that the point of academic study is to engage in higher order thinking skills with the purpose of adding to the existing body of knowledge. It is for this reason that copying or using parts of someone else's work without attribution is forbidden in Australian academic culture. If you are uncertain what this means, you should access the Academic Integrity module on the Learning Centre website. Throughout your study in Australia, you will be asked to complete a number of different types of assessments. Each style of assessment will assess a different level of critical thinking. In some other academic cultures, there is a higher emphasis on examinations and low-level memorization skills. But generally in Australia, there is a balance of examinations and assignments. Assignments are your chance to actively apply the skills you have learned. Each assignment at JCU will have a marking rubric. This rubric can be found in your subject outline. The marking rubric tells you exactly what each assessment criteria you will be marked on and what you will need to do to score each grade level. You will also find that some assignments require hard copy submission and some will need to be submitted online. You can check your assessment marks in the Grade Centre in Learn JCU. You will find your assignment description in your subject outline and you will also find the marking rubric here and sometimes also on Learn JCU. It is very important that you read and understand the rubric before you attempt the assignment. This is because the rubric will inform you what you have to do. It will also tell you how you should do it. Each assessment criteria will inform you how to get the best possible mark for your assessment. If you are asked to submit your assessment online, you should navigate to the Assessments tab and Submit Online. You should note that all work submitted online is subject to an automatic plagiarism checker. In some classes, you will be able to work online. 
JCU uses the Collaborate system to run external classes and discussions between many students. You may also need to use this platform for group assignments if some of your group members are off campus. You might also find that your subject has some online quizzes and assessments. These usually have to be completed in a set week. Check your subject outline or subject site to see if you have any of these in your subject. You can also usually find online readings in your subject site. Some classes will also have online exams and these will use a lockdown browser, which will prevent you from surfing the internet while you do the online exam. Each of your subjects will also have a subject outline. This will contain the relevant assessment data and key dates for your subject. You will find the subject outline on your Learn JCU subject page. The first thing that you should do when you begin study is to download your subject outlines from Learn JCU. Then you should check the important dates and read the assessment section to understand how you will be graded in the subject. Do this first. This is a priority.